So, conditions for this match, just about ideal. Quite a lot of clouds, Seats quickly behind the hot, players. reasonable humidity. Ready for play. And Woodford to, to start this match. One thing that is in Mark's favour, being a left-hander, Andre likes to go to the backhand of a right-handed player several times, and then he really does open up the court with that double-fisted backhand down the line. But, of course, that will be Woodford's forehand. He'll be attacking Woodford's strength. a tactic that he has employed very well so far this week Andre taking the serve and really just stuffing it down the toes of the server not trying to create a winner just jamming the server giving him no time at all three times in this opening game Agassi has hit too long Wonderful return. Takes it so early. 40, 30. Yes, you can just see Woodford here barely has time to get to the service line before the ball is passed him. He makes it very difficult for you to serve and volley because he takes it early. If you are coming forward, you haven't got very far forward before you're facing a bomb. Light, light, for sure. Fault, wisely ignored totally by Woodford. Slice backhand from Woodford. Advantage Agassi. Well, Mark did absolutely nothing wrong during this rally. That's just too good. And if your opponent can come up with that sort of shot time and time again, ends up his first break point. You have to just accept that it's too good.
Yeah, he should have made that. First game. Long point, but Agassi ahead, one love. First game. That first game, we saw absolutely meticulous, very careful striking of the ball from Woodford. And we saw a very aggressive intent, I think, from, uh, from Agassi <laughs> throughout. Overhitting three times, admittedly, but uh, healthy errors, really, going for his shots and a wonderful... A couple of wonderful finishes to two of the points. Agassi putting a fair bit of thought into his game already. Several times during some of those rallies, he really did throw in the looper, tried a couple of sliced backhands. So he knows that uh, he can't be too predictable against Mark. He'll have to try to keep Mark a little off balance, which is something that Mark does so well to his opponents. Time. Last time they played was in Indianapolis just a few weeks ago, and Woodford came through that in three very tight sets, 6-3, 5-7, 6-3. And Woodford also won the match they played before that in 1996, which was the Grand Slam Cup on carpet. And he won that 6-3, 6-4. <laughs> showing me there that he's willing to be patient on the Woodford slice. The Woodford slice is a good shot. It's not hit with much pace. But what he really does, he, he almost in induces, he almost forces you to go for too much. The ball is just sitting there. 30. And I guess he's just quite content to roll the ball back, not try to do too much, not try to generate too much pace. Agassi has got three of his first four serves. He's got three first serves in out of four. Agassi leaves, two games to luck. Well, you almost get the feeling that Agassi and his coach Brad Gilbert, who was a very heady player, have sat down and worked out a tactic, and that is when they are going to the Woodford back end, going there with less pace, getting the ball up high, and playing a patient game, just waiting for that shorter one. Fifteen luck. This is the most careful, slow, meticulous beginning to a serve, I think, in men's professional tennis. And it's an object lesson to a club player not to get the racket back too quickly. Yes, it's the interesting thing about the serve. It doesn't matter how fast you take it away because at some point the racket stops and heads in the other direction. Almost like the golf swing in that respect. 40. Luck. Hacked out his knee, Magazine. 
jack in the box today. Game by Woodford. Leads, two games to one. So he's a break behind, but uh, getting better. Agassi 2 1. On air uses a very wide stringing pattern, pretty hard to control. And at that point of his career, career he went to a wide body frame. Now the wide body combined with the loose and wide string pattern was virtually impossible to control. And uh, that was the reason for that scoreline. Bit surprised to hear that he hadn't worked all that out before he actually got on court to play a match with Agassi. No, but I guess sometimes you feel like you're hitting the ball well in practice, then you get out under match conditions, you're a little bit nervous playing. Agassi at the time was probably the top five player in the world. It all seems a bit different. Well, it's good to see Agassi with an inclination to get to the net when he has the possibility. And I thought that was something that Kafelnikov, well, did badly. He didn't employ that tactic in the first two sets of the previous match. Tried to play him from the baseline throughout. Well, this is a good shot from Agassi here. He knew he was in trouble, so he didn't actually try to pass Woodford, just made him play that other volley. Woodford, by going to the uh, backhand, opened up the court. Agassi leads three games to one. Well, there's a fair bit of cat and mouse going on here at the moment. Both players are not giving each other a lot of pace. At the moment, Agassi winning the battle, Woodford being the more impatient. Treating the Woodford serve with a certain Long amount of 15. disdain. Past to serve from Woodford so far has been 108 miles an hour.
Look good to Agassi. Game. Well played, Woodford. Agassi that was a difficult Three. game to win. But the win it he did. He's still a break behind, though. Agassi leading 3 2, first set. It's an all court game. He's able to come over the ball. He can hit with slice. He can serve volley. He can rally from the baseline. So he has a lot of options. We saw Mark Filipousis yesterday go down in straight sets to Vacek. Unfortunately for Filipousis, he doesn't have plan B. Mark, on the other hand, has plan C, D, E, and F. He really can mix and match his game to suit or to uh, distract his opponent. That's one of the big things in his favour. But I've been impressed with Andre today. He is not the whirlwind that we've seen of the last two matches. He's really given Mark a lot of off-pace balls high to the back end. He really does seem to be working on that area. I'm a little bit surprised so far that uh, Woodford hasn't made it to the net a bit more often. He's been there three times, only successful once. I imagine it's due to the fact that uh, it's so dangerous to go forward to Agassi. Yes, he's a very difficult man to serve and volley. And Mark, uh, you, you mentioned it earlier, he's not the, the fastest of servers. Uh, fastest serve so far this match is at 108. And that really wouldn't present a lot of problems for Andre returning. Oh. Low, 50. Mark has done so well over the years with Todd Woodbridge in doubles and their first round exit here at the US Open. I was just thinking whether that would give him a little more mental energy for his singles. Fifteen. Oh. Talking of doubles, are they all chums again now? <laughs> well, yeah, they did have a little uh, disagreement, I guess, after the match, but I'm sure they're fine now. But over the years, having played so much doubles, I, I, have to, I get the feeling that he could have done better in majors in past years. Thirty. Fifteen. Sometimes just too heavy a workload. Did you not make it to the semis with Mark Woodford here? Was it here? Uh, no, we made the uh, semis of the French Open together. French. We're going back a few years now. 40, 50. First ace, no doubles for Agassi. Legacy leads four games to two. And sitting very comfortably on that uh, break he achieved in the first game of this match. So often happens that he chose to receive. Wise move by Agassi because that's when he broke.
Well, there you are, you see. 15. He elected to go forward, and Agassi saw him. Those little eyes of Agassi see everything, and uh, he just dropped it nicely, forcing Woodford into the half volley error. If I was playing Agassi, I honestly wouldn't know which side to attack, Wally. No, that is the difficult thing about Andre. He doesn't have a weak side. There's nowhere you can go for any respite. There's no breathing space there at all. Fifteen. Thirty. Even with a player like Pete Sampras, if you do want some sort of a break and work yourself into a rally you can go to the backhand it's just not the case with Andre he stands so far in the court sometimes inside the baseline he really does rifle it at you from both sides Fifteen. Four. very dissatisfied with that shot with the Patience, Agassi. patience. Agassi, Agassi just leads, showing new characteristics as a player, really, in this match. Very intelligent play by him. He's got a double break. Ball First change. set, he leads 5-2. Yes, there's been a couple of Agassiz to play. And uh, a lot of the times you can go out on the court against Andre and you get a lot of free points. He's not patient. He doesn't have a real desire to win. When he's in this kind of a mood today, and he has been all week, really, He's come out on the court, uh, great footwork, very positive attitude. He hasn't let anything uh, interrupt his flow or his concentration. It's the reason that he was such a good player. Where, how do you hurt him? How do you break down his game? And just at the moment, he's being particularly patient. He's really trying to break down the backhand of Mark Woodford, which is what I thought Yevgeny, Yevgeny Kafelnikov would have tried to do, but just didn't. So uh, in this mood, with that sort of uh, intensity, I just really don't know that Mark has enough a big enough game to hurt him. Taller of the two men by three inches. I don't know if that's going to help him all that much. Six foot two. The oldest man in the top 100 players on the men's tour. Woodford, not that you'd think it. There was always a lot of conjecture in our Davis Cup team as to whether Mark Woodford was six foot two. Yeah, I thought he was just over six feet. Yes, I think there's a couple of uh, inches of poofy red hair there that he yeah, includes in the, in the height. Bit unlucky here. Dead net cord. You never know quite what you're going to get at US Open. The net's strung so tight.
almost impossible for Norm Chris to have anything at all to say. He's on the opposite side of the court. Line's been very well placed. Showing very good instincts about when to go forward, Agassi. And that point has given him a couple of set points. Game, game first set, Agassi. Six games to two. Well, we are seeing a different Agassi today. We're seeing a very patient one, a very correct one, a very accurate one. And he's choosing his uh, shots very carefully indeed. Second set. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Well, it's very uncharacteristic for Mark, not known for serving double faults. Maybe just trying to do a bit too much with that second serve. Any time he's dropped it short, he really has paid the penalty. Beautiful play. Absolutely stretching Woodford all over the court. 15 40. Well, I thought Woodford had done well with the backhand slice down the line, but Andre showing a lot of touch, which is never easy when the ball's up around shoulder height at the net. Just angling that away. Notice how he kept the racket head up. Anytime you drop, drop the racket head, you're in trouble. Two break points. Carefully placed, great focus on the ball when he hit it then. Very important point this for Woodford, saved one break point. Away. Second set. And the two double faults in that game hardly helped Mark Woodford. He's done a set and a break. Well, I was just about to say that. Uh... Well, I've been talking about it, but uh, what can you do? We'll just take a quick look at the numbers from the studio. First serve percentage 81 from Agassi. All he does with that is he just uh, he just sets his point up just like he likes it, Peter. It's 
So, 6-2-1, love. Agassi very much in the driving seat. And uh, second serve points, 125%, but he's hardly hit any second serves. So that's fairly redundant. I'll hand you back to Bill Throff. Well, thank you. I don't know what uh, happened technically there, but uh, I'm sorry if you lost us. And uh, we've seen this chap struggling, really, really struggling to come to terms with an Agassi who's in top form. He's being matched for patience by Agassi, and then finally at the end of a long patient rally, Agassi will suddenly explode into action and win the point. Yes, I think patience is the key word out here today. Sometimes Mark Woodford can frustrate his opponents. He doesn't give them a lot of pace, works around the court. But Andre is just one shot better today. sign there that Mark is losing the mental battle trying to play a double hander off the ground it's not something he does too often he usually reserves that for the return or for the pass and there's something we probably will have to work on 45 percent of first serves we expect better from him yes Agassi's first serve percentage almost double that 81 Well, he's trying to hit with slice, he's tried flat, he hit too long. And uh, for a player, this builds up in your mind, you know, you, you are bound to start losing confidence in your own ability to hit the ball as you want to. Not on the opponent's terms all the time. Longest point so far, and I don't think in my life I have ever seen Andre Agassi play with such patient control. It's very uncharacteristic. Probably the first seven or eight shots of that rally were barely hit with any pace at all. That's a terrific dismantling of the Australians game. It really is. Broken to love for the second time. Agassi leads. Three games to luck. Wally, it's, uh, it's terribly difficult to fight your way out of the sort of despair that Mark Woodford must be feeling now. No, well, this, this, uh, this match that we're watching here, it just reeks of Brad Gilbert, if you ask me. I really get the feeling that Gilbert has got inside Agassi's head and had a lot of input. And he has told him you must try to break down the backhand side of Mark Woodford, something that he's done very well. Woodford, at the moment, is unsure whether to go with a slice or even play the double-hander. He's very frustrated, and it's so nice to see 
Agassi's such a great striker of the ball, and when he employs that ball striking ability with tactical awareness, you really have an, just a great player on your hands, and it, it, it's fun to watch. Well, it's amazing that this guy can uh, pull himself together for the major event, isn't it? I mean, what's he done this year, apart from his injury, which has put him out for most of the year anyway? In San Jose, he reached the semi-final, lost to Greg Rosetsky, and uh, Greg beat him out of sight. Uh, then he went into four tournaments, lost in the first round each time. He then played very well. The Davis Cup now is a time. big deal. He played very well, and he won both his matches against the Netherlands. Then he went into the uh, despair situation again. Came back a bit in Indianapolis, got to the quarterfinals, lost to Mark Woodford. And here he is in the big one, the biggest one of all, and suddenly he looks like the Agassi of old. Well, for sure he would have set himself for this one, and uh, he would have been looking at his calendar. He always does enjoy the US Open. So there would have been a real mental focus coming into these two weeks that was probably lacking at some of the other events. Fifteen, luck. Well, his first uh, percentage is still up there in the 80s. 81 overall in the match, 83 in the set. And in the set, he's won 100% of first serves in. 30, 15. that Andre, even at 30 love there, going for a ball, even though he did miss it, that in itself is all part of his tactic. He's just keeping Woodford totally off balance. now Agassi it's almost like a practice session for him well that's always the way too when, when things aren't quite going your way we see Mark Woodford trying to create something different maybe missing by half an inch if you're up 624 love that ball goes in Absolutely no problem. From mid-court there, he knows exactly the rate of shot he wants. 15. He knows exactly oh. the amount of topspin he wanted on it. The direction was perfect. Oh. And that was very nearly good. 30, 15. Very, very difficult shot. Two-handed, high backhand.
game. Woodford. Well played Woodford. That'll do his morale a bit of good. He needed this. So Woodford finally gets on the scoreboard second round. He's only won three games. Agassi leading 4-1. If he'd lost that game, if he'd lost that game, well, yeah, I really think the pressure might have set in in a big way. Yes, it was one of the few games that he got a couple of cheap points from Andre, and it's really what he does need at this stage now. It's down 6-2, 4-1. He really does need a few freebies. He needs Andre just to come back down a couple of levels, but I can't see it happening at the moment. You need hope, don't you? You need, uh, and there's an art anyway, uh, of, of trying to play really good tennis when you're losing badly and he is losing badly and the, there's got to be an art in forcing yourself to sort of try to get the score and just play point by point i guess at the at the end of the day there has to be an underlying belief that you can win the match if if you have that hope springs eternal there's always a chance but you almost have to ask yourself in this situation mark looking at andre just playing so well does he really deep down believe that he can still win the match or is he just trying to eke out a few games here and there and stay with him? It's hard to say. Well, as regards game plan, I honestly don't know what he uh, can be planning. There's nothing for Agassi to plan. He's just played a beautifully balanced match in every way. I guess you, you talk about game plan. Mark has been pretty content to stay at the back of the court. That's obviously not working. You'd almost have to say, well, now maybe throw a little bit of caution to the wind serve and volley change it up chip charge try to get in for a couple of games at least and just change the pattern of the match Hot. 15 love but therein lies the problem 81 percent of first serves in during the match Oh. Well, he snooped that one in. Could well have gone long because he put quite a lot of backspin on it, and that makes the ball float and float. fastest try so far 123 doesn't count it wasn't in yeah, outrageous that's... attempt to uh, smash on the baseline up a low bouncing ball just just terrific talent to do this, this shot Agassi leads five games to one well, I couldn't help but laugh to myself that he really is very confident. I mean, this is not an easy shot. If you're any sort of social player or club player, just try it. Very difficult. Woodford, down a set, 1-5, second set. Fifteen, luck.
30. 15. He's really just starting to break down that backhand side. It's almost like a, a boxer that's gone to the body for three or four rounds. Woodford's starting to drop his hands and his head's becoming exposed. He's really worked that backhand side beautifully today. Couple of chances here for Woodford to pull up to 2 5 in the set. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't think he enjoyed that. Five games to two. It went out by a mile. I think he wanted that game over. He's still leading 5 2. Seems to me, the, uh, Wally, that Agassi is, is playing within himself in a really big way. Sometimes it's rather like a practice session against a much lesser player. I'm not suggesting here Woodford is. If Agassi was out on court there with me, for example, you know, and he'd be hitting uh, like he was hitting to a baby or something, you know, he's just sort of going through the motions, then suddenly explodes into a fantastic sort of winner. Well, that is what he's doing so well. He's sticking to his game plan. And it's not always easy to do at 6-2, 4 love, or 6-2, 5-2. The temptation is to really start going for it. But Andre has stuck to his guns, and he's done it very well. And I've just been really impressed with his, his body language. And tennis is a one-on-one -on -one sport. You've got to impose your will on your opponent. Virtually say, hey, if you want to beat me, you're going to have to do a lot of running. You're going to have to do a lot of balls back. I'm here for the duration. And uh, it's not something that Andre has always done. But out here today, I think Mark Woodford almost a little bit intimidated by Andre's presence at the moment. 15, block. Even got time to act as ball boy. Well, Andre is just having one of those days at the moment where everything is just happening in slow motion. He had all the time in the world out of the corner of his eye to see Woodford backing away, looking for a forehand and three set points. Game, second set, Agassi, six games to two, ball change. Yeah, no. Something has got to change. Rick Shields looking uh, extremely relaxed, and why not? It's been a master class by Agassi. As Wally Masseur says, virtually in slow motion. It's absolutely extraordinary, the sort of medium pace control that Agassi has exerted over his opponent. Fifteen, luck. You think perhaps Woodford was expecting Agassi to hit the ball really hard all the time and uh, perhaps go forward and volley? I don't know, is whatever plan Woodford had has been totally dismantled. I think you're right, Bill. I think Mark probably expected Andre to come out today like he had in his previous two matches, playing like a whirlwind, really going for it. And making a lot of winners, but giving Mark a lot of free points. And uh, Mark does like pace. 
He really does maneuver the ball around well. He uses his opponent's pace. But today he's been put in the position where he has to create his own pace. And particularly off that backhand side, he hasn't enjoyed the experience. Well, he served first in all three sets, Mark Woodford, and he's dropped his serve in the first two sets, which is hardly the best way to begin a set. With any luck, he should hold here. 40 love. Cut. Game, Woodford. First game, third set. Well, that's a radical difference, and I, uh, I hope he builds on that and goes forward and volleys and goes out with all guns blazing. As you would expect, Mark, at this point now, changing his game, coming in behind first and second serves during the course of that game. He has to, and uh, you just wonder, and we'll have a quick look at that set in, in summary. Let's have a look there. Well, unforced errors from Wood for 14. I think you'd find a lot of those are on the backhand side. And Agassi maintaining that great first serve percentage. 72% and the serve as well, as accurately as he does. He dominate the point after the first serve. But, uh, yes, Woodford, I just um, get the feeling in hindsight that maybe he should have served and volleyed from the onset. I can see now almost in a real groove. Yes, that first serve percentage, uh, Baker's description must be 20%. I mean, uh, Agassi is now serving at three and a half times better in first serve percentage terms than his opponent. I mean, you, you very rarely see 20% first serve percentage. No, and not from Mark Woodford. He, he really does have a double style service in as much as he's very accurate and gets that first serve in and usually gets in quick behind it. Well, so often when you're getting hammered, your own game uh, hardly flourishes and you make unforced errors. We've seen that uh, here this week. And I only hope for Mark Woodford's sake he can... Uh... talked about Andre's brilliant tactics it's one thing to have a good game plan but his execution has just been faultless First time in this entire match that the rally has been conducted at a medium pace, and the final shot with added pace has come from Woodford. Nearly every time, I think it's come from Agassiz before. statistic there 16 winners for Andre in two sets is not a lot of winners by his standards oh. well okay but don't be deterred Good knows he's facing the master passer of the ball. Passed you at the net, but why not go ploughing in? He's going to win some of them. Game, Agassiz. One game off. Sir. Amazing deflections you get off these very taut nets here in uh, America. Totally unpredictable. Oh. 
low. 50. Just one of those days where not even the close calls go your way. Having a look at our statistics sheet in front of us, this is only Mark Woodford's third clean winner in the whole match. Quite surprising. Yeah, Wally, I mean, you've got to remember this, this guy is the number one doubles player in the world, and that means he is the number one, in doubles at least, serve and volley expert. So where are the serve and volley? Yes, well, in hindsight, he really should have been more aggressive from the onset. I think he's been lured into a false sense of security having played Agassi at uh, Indianapolis. Agassi that, that particular day was really going for it, hitting the ball extremely hard, making a lot of unforced errors. But he's done a complete 360 here today. Well, at least he's moving forward. But he hasn't practiced it much during the match, and it shows. And here are two break points. First break of the third set, and Agassi now leads 2-1. But there it is again, no pace. It really does like the ball coming on. his fastest serve of the match. It uh, was only 118. Oh. Deuce. Well, Woodford unleashing a couple of much harder forehands then. That was uh, Guillermo Vilas in screen. Great clay court exponent, now a poet. Advantage Woodford. Now then, a big moment for Woodford. This is a first for Agassi, having to defend a break point. Game, Woodford. Well, he's fallible. Not very. Two games off. Well, it's not uncommon. You've won the first two sets, you're up a break, you almost breathe a sigh of relief. And that's the first uh, slip-up that we've seen from Andre. But if you are going to see one early in the third set, it's usually the time. Two sets, love lead.
low. Just important that Mark doesn't relax. Done the hard work now to break, and he does want to consolidate that break. And for golf fans, if you're tuning in right now to watch the golf from the Greater Milwaukee Open, we promise you it will follow this program. Those last two volleys, volleying is all about the legs. You want to do as little as possible with the racket, keep it out in front. You've got to run through those high volleys. There's another break point for Andre. Now that is a good volley. He got down. He seemed to be... Uh, He's straining his back a bit as he did get down, but get down he did, and he produced a lovely volley from it. First time almost, Mark Woodford making Advantage tennis look simple Woodford. and easy. Well, what's really improved is the quality of his second serve. Early in the match, they were very short. Now he's starting to peg lines, which is what we've come to expect from him. Yep, A very nice serve volley game by Mark Woodford. Total transformation. And believe it or not, he's ahead in the set by three games to two. Improved the quality of his serve when he was staying back. Seeing the disappointment of that missed forehand volley. When he was staying back, there was no up and over the ball. He really was uh, quite static. Wasn't really getting past the baseline. Now there's a lot more drive forward into the court. It's helping his serve. The thinking man's tennis player. Very popular guy, not only with the Australians, but uh, everybody in tennis. Impeccably mannered on court, as all Australians are. Well, some. <laughs> Present company uh, excluded. Present company accepted, of course. And a wonderful uh, advertisement for the doubles game, he and uh, Todd Woodbridge. Five Wimbledons in a row, equal only by Nuke and Kenny Roach. In recent years, anyway. 43% terrible, but getting better. I think the uh, Doherty brothers going back to the early 1600s had a five in a row record, too. I think not. Oh. Only about 20 people went into the tournament then, so things uh, were slightly easier. <laughs> the serving of uh, Agassi has been impeccable, really, throughout the match. His first set percentage has slipped a bit in the match at 74%. That's still excellent.
40 50. First double. change of pace there I just got the feeling Andre thought that was going to the net he seemed to just hesitate halfway through his run no not in that shot I just uh, didn't move as well as he normally does to those short balls Well, the only two doubles he served in the match have been in this game. This could be a watershed, this game. This is a huge point for Woodford. Deuce. He's solid. He always needs to produce a shot onto the line, but big moments. Well, that's just nothing short of brilliant. Look at the depth of the Woodford return. Woodford was actually looking to come forward. Completely wrong footed by that backhand across court. Well, he missed it. Not sure it was the best idea, not sure it was the best drop shot ever from. Uh, Woodford, but it, uh, the end product was all right. No, he probably didn't need to hit it that hard. He had Woodford going the wrong way. You can see there, he really did try to bury it, whipping that left hand over. Second break point against Agassiz. This is Ted Free. He has not been in in this match. Deuce. Great players produce the goods when it counts. Agassiz's done it twice. Well, I thought we'd see the replay there, but Andre really did hold that last forehand particularly well. If anything, now there's just been a slight change in that Woodford's serve has improved, and Andre's just come down a bit, just bringing the two closer together. Good second serve. He leant into that, hit it deep. First serve percentage in this set. Half are going in, 
He sort of guides that backhand slice, doesn't he? He doesn't sort of hit through it. It's a more of a guiding, long follow-through. Which is why he likes pace, because he doesn't do a lot. It's quite a short swing, as he mentioned, and he uses his opponent's pace. He hasn't got it today. You just saw Agassi there. He was on the baseline when Woodford threw the ball up. He took three or four quick steps back. He was determined to get that ball back into play. He's very aware of the score and the importance of this game. Thirty off. Well, Agassi got his feet in a little bit of a tangle for once there. Got, ended up a bit too close to the ball. point by Woodford. Transformed. The whole thing is transformed now. He's playing to him his, his own sort of pattern. Moving forward. Serving better. Going in. Volleying better. Game. Woodford. Good for him. Looks much more like Woodford. Woodford. He's ahead by four games to three in this third set. So two breaks of serve. We're back on serve. Agassi is at 3-4. 15. Deadly accurate. Just waits and waits. Well, like a cat catching a bird. He just waits and then... Chances. That ability, too, to hit across the line of flight. Three or four cross court. Bang. And right across the face of the ball. Oh. 30. Lock. I think he does that better than anybody else in the game. His ability to change the direction of the, of the rally. Looked a little bit rushed. Comes as quite a shock because he hit so beautifully all the way through the match. Forty or fifty. See where Woodford ended up? Way outside the outside traveling. in the serve, really pulling his opponent wide on serve. Now then, the score is serious for Mark Woodford. Down two sets already, he's at four all, third set. Uh, that's a 
Wonderful, wonderful counter hitting. You feel maybe he's a bit late, and yet he, uh, in his own mind, is dead right. 15, 30. Well, I thought Mark had done well, then he pushed Andre off to the forehand by jamming him on the backhand return, probably just not getting that approach close enough to the line. So certain. First of all, he knocked it away by Woodford, but uh, hardly surprising the ball lashed at him. 15, 40. I think he may have done more with that forehand volley. It was a tough one, though, jammed right into the hip. Brings up two break points. You think virtual match points. Yeah. 30, 30, 40. So close. He loves doing that, though. Pulled wide on the forehand in the deuce court. He loves whipping it cross court. Biggest point of the match, probably facing Woodford right here. Second break point. Even bigger now, second serve. He'd absolutely built up the winning of that point. And so he bangs the smash too long, and Agassi will serve the match. Well, that, uh, you know, that was just a pity, whether you're Australian or... Uh, Egyptian or Turkish or British or whatever you just feel for a player of uh, colossal quality like Mark Woodford and he has the makings of this point and he hits it wrong well it wasn't out by too much maybe just the swirly breeze making it tough for him up there you can see him getting in good position technically it looks sound maybe just didn't snap that wrist over the ball but a tough break because he had played the point pretty well till then just having a look at the Agassi camp there gentleman in the dark, the impassive gentleman in the dark cap and sunglasses, Gilles Rain, I guess his uh, trainer come bodyguard, quite an imposing figure. So Agassi now has the opportunity to serve for the match, it's hard to see him making any slip-ups from this point. Yeah, Agassi needs a bodyguard, Keep, uh, he's got a lot of fans here, I guess he needs one, he's got an aircraft to fly him back to Las Vegas, save time between tournaments. He's done it all, really, and he's showing us pretty well all of it. Time. It's been a virtuoso performance. And he is now serving for a place in the fourth round, last 16 of the US Open. I suppose when you're getting a ball at you that hard, you've got to put a bit of work on the turn, a bit of slice, or come over it or something. He hit it very flat then, Woodford. That's a return he loves making, and that hasn't worked either. Pretty courageous second serve.
legacy on the brink of the last 16 here at the US Open. Crashes away a volley. 6-2, Brooke, Brooke Shields almost looks in tears. Mark Woodford, uh, generous as always. Terrific win by Agassi. He wins in three sets here. 6-2, 6-2, 6-4, and it was a wonderful performance by him. The crowd stand to him. And uh, Wally, your Australian friend there did his best, but his game was just dismantled. No, the perfect match from Andre. He's in great mood, and I'm looking forward to his next round against Pat Rafter. Yeah, delicious, isn't it? 6-2, 6-2, 6-4. Andre Agassi in great shape, and he will play Pat Rafter, who is a better athlete.